going on everyone? So today we are uh, gonna go and fully or feed some soybeans. So we got uh, roughly 200 acres in front of us here today and then another 100. So we're just doing some testing with this stuff to see if it's worth it. So for this foliar pass, we are putting in Maxing K, so this is potassium. And then we have Maxin Ultra ZMB, um, so sulfur, boron, manganese, and zinc. Our third thing is, this is Hybrix in this tank. This is a sugar product. We'll be doing some test strips and you know, like I said, we're not doing all the acres of beans, so um, we're gonna get some good testing on it. We're gonna do some side-by-sides um, where I just sleep 90 feet and then try it with 90 feet. I wanted to get this alone or the micronutrients without this to get a good test that way and I might do that. I kind of want to get this done. So we got a couple of days of this and then I think tomorrow or Friday the helicopter's coming to spray fungicide on the corn. We don't have the tender trailer running today because we're just we're hopping over the place and or all over the place. And, um, we're only doing it in small batches, so we're not going to need it. But, um, plus, it's a part with bales on it, so I'm sure if it was not a part, we'd use it. But it's it's all part. up this farm and you're going through beans this tall you gotta be careful otherwise you run stuff over because 
even if you get your tires, you know, within a couple inches of the stalk, you know, it grabs a hole of the stems and leaves and pulls it down. And then I'll wrap it under the tire and, you know, then they're down. So, and whatever you run over at this stage, there's no coming back. So, it's dead. You can definitely see where you go through, but mainly when you're going down, you know, it'll, it'll kind of brush the leaves to where, you know, they're showing where your tracks are, but those will go back here probably by the night, you know, they'll be switching back, but like whatever you run over here, there just ain't no getting past it, you know, at this stage. And, you know, by the little bit that we're running over, you know, hopefully we're, hopefully we're helping it out enough that, you know, we really didn't lose that much because we're taking 90 foot swaths and, you know, it's just a little bit. It's And it's only the headlands that we're running stuff over on, so, but, all right. I'm gonna go home and fill up and head to the next farm. So they didn't have all the potassium yesterday. I'm gonna have to go down and get it. I'm um, just gonna make sure that they have it. We got enough to get us going here and we were actually gonna start yesterday, but by the time we were done doing all the things we were doing yesterday, it was too late. So it was just one of those running around days and then the sun was out all day and it was really hot out. We don't like spraying when it's hot out. It'll kind of burn off the leaves and it won't really do anything. It won't get into the plant. So, um, or in other words, it'll evaporate or volatilize. It's uh, hazy out today. It's it's somewhat warm, but it's not terrible. And They have it. Just got the word that, that K is in stock, so I'm gonna go get it. All right, got my 30 gallons of potassium that I needed. Need to fill this thing up with water. So I mixed up a 60 acre batch for this farm. This farm is more over 70, but there's there's one big field that kind of goes off, you know, it's irregularly shaped. So we're gonna be doing the big part of that field and then there's one smaller field on this farm that we're gonna knock, knock out. And since I'm running auto steer on this field, since this is drilled, um, this is one of the farms that we drilled the beans on hopefully get some drone footage. So, I haven't got drone footage of this thing yet, so kind of kind of looking forward to having that. So, um, I'm the only one that runs this thing, so I don't get an outside perspective of it running. I've seen sprayers run a million times, but I don't know. Just this one in general, I guess. So you can see in this field, oh, there's a lot of yellowing in here. Especially up on the hillsides. Granted, this is a lighter soil, but this isn't a normal thing. So 
we're gonna try and get this out here like in there there's plenty of moisture in there so it isn't really drying out in there but it's I mean, there, there's some sort of deficiency in here and we're thinking it's potassium we haven't done any tissue tests or soil tests so it it's it's gonna be a give or take thing so we're gonna see if this helps it should but um, just something to get us by and this will get soil sampled come this fall after we take the crop off and before we start doing our primary tillage and our fall fertility application. So I got my auto steer line set in and 10 gallons to the acre auto swap to turn on our pump. Should we take the park brake off? Should be spraying. Yep, we're spraying now. So this is what I'm talking about right in here. These beans are lower and they are struggling. There's pressure. So, and there's some type of nutrient pressure. Cause right in there, you know, that's, that's a low spot. There should be moisture there. It is not pure sand up here. So stuff will show up on the soil test too. So, you know, we'll find out at that point as well. Definitely nice with auto steer. It's a lot easier to pay attention to controlling boom height and all that. And got my pressure up to about 40. Lower down a little bit up in here where it's getting short. So there is a distinct difference between stuff that's running out of moisture and stuff that, like this, that has is, has the yellowing in it. You know, we're kind of into this blind a little bit. You know, this is just kind of from us guessing. Just finished up here with that field, or that farm I should say. I ended up going and doing a couple of the smaller fields because I was noticing a, um, I was noticing 
a significant amount of yellowing in the two smaller fields so so we're gonna head back to the farm here I'm not haven't decided where I'm going to next I got in this vicinity right up over here I got a 20 acre field that's that cover crop ground that I need to get some out there to help push those things along I got a 40 acre field down the road a bit from here that I might hit too but haven't decided yet and then we are headed south all right uh, last load for the day so we mixed up for another 60 acres and we got about that so 40 and 20 roughly 21 so but we had some left over from over at the other farm so we added 60 to that so there's about a hundred or 650 ish gallons in there give or take get this uh, all sprayed out and that'll be it for tonight and then we'll be back at her again tomorrow but if those helicopter or if that helicopter is flying tomorrow we're gonna stop spraying because I don't know I like watching those guys spray so have that to look forward to so I'll be in the next video these beans don't look half bad in this field. You can see kind of the yellowing in here, but beans definitely look better than some of the other stuff. So a little bit lighter up on the hill here, but go down there, you know, well over waist high. So but he's working. I have to lower that boom there. Alright, so this field as you can see is not good. I had, I'm going to stop spraying this stuff on here because I'm going to have to come in and fix this uh, with something. We're going to go spray this side here. I wasn't going to spray it, but there's yellowing in here too, so might as well. Ain't hurt nothing. Just got done over there. Emptied out this tank on the L. So we're going to address that uh, cover crop ground here. We're going to finish up doing the rest of the foliar feeding and then we'll probably end up putting some of this stuff in with that too um, just to kind of kickstart those beans a little bit or not kickstart them but try to maintain as much as we can so whether it's doing anything or not you know I don't know so we're sure going to find out. We'll definitely figure this out. Um, that was kind of my mistake in not acting quick enough on that stuff. Um, should have been out there spraying that a lot earlier, but just time gets in the way, I guess. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the next one. There should be a helicopter flying around. We're gonna be doing some more foliar feeding and probably fixing a disaster as well with that cover crop ground. So I appreciate everyone watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Please throw a like and a comment down there. I hope you all enjoyed and we will catch you in the next one.